You know, a wise man once said, go ahead and switch the style up. And if they hate, then let them hate and watch the money pile up. <laughs> but forget all the work bullshit and the money talk because my greatest accomplishment this year was I got Chia pregnant. <laughs> Three, two, one. Do you know what today is? What it is? It's our anniversary. Is it? Guess what, y'all? <laughs> Welcome back to the No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tim Chatharangsu. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki Blaze. And today, this episode is our 100th episode. So not exactly an anniversary, <laughs> but it's a hundred episodes. Not really. It's not really the right I, song. I went through my brain and I was like, is there a this is a hundred something song? Yeah. No, I'm gonna go with this I, one. I was like, is he gonna change the mm, he's an anniversary? Yeah. All right, right, bring it back. Yeah. Do you know what today is? It's a hundredth episode. episode. Ah, why didn't I do that? Hundredth episode. <laughs> And guess what? We're going to celebrate. We got some champagne. Woo! I got the good stuff. The Don Perigno. Ooh, I got the soda like, stream on deck. Know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't trip, Rick. I got you. Canada Dry. Got no, the I'm Canada getting... Dry Ooh. on deck. The good we stuff. ain't talking about you. Are you feel <laughs> <really>? me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even rebuttal that. That was a good one. Because <laughs> she's... Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's inappropriate. I'm up. Here, Tim. I'm getting bottle service flashbacks. Oh, hand over I was going to make the same joke. Hand, hand over the bottle. <laughs> Who got the sparklers? Who got... Woo! I feel like standing up. Somebody give me all your money right now. For the record. With the glasses. She wasn't a sparkler girl. She, she was, was like the boss things. of the sparkler girls. You know. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Just so they know. Thank you. Thanks for clearing that up. I appreciate it. Not that, that there's anything wrong with no. being a sparkler girl. Definitely. We love had, you You know. Except sometimes y'all be pushy. Oh, yeah. But other than that, we love y'all. Yeah, come on, man. 10% when you just brought some bottles is crazy. <laughs> oh, 25. 25. Oh, you bugging. <laughs> you had to have your whole ass out for that. <laughs> On the already marked up bottles? Sheesh. So I got some uh, hair <laughs> hair oil in my hands. Oh, oh, it's okay. I got beard oil no, in my hands. <laughs> I'm just oily. <laughs> the proper I'm way to use your mask. Man. Yay! Oh. Fun. All right, so everybody, pull your ones hey, out. Hey, we back at the. Yeah. Uh, what, what are the what are the club did you work at? I worked at Infusion, the we Grand Infusion, Temple. Infusion temple. <laughs> All of them. All of them. All the temple them. All of them. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we were gonna have champagne today. Yeah, that's why I didn't Aww. offer you a beer. Thank you. <laughs> that is true. Tim was. Uh, I was fixing my hair, and Tim's walking by, and he had beer. I'm like, "What's up?" He's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 I got you. I was like, mm, okay. Mm -hmm. I can start drinking now. So, uh, cheers, everybody. Yay. 100th episode. Risking the Rona for this. Risking the Rona. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, no. There's a test on here to prove that I'm allowed to be here, y'all. Okay. We took the test. Before y'all start talking that shit. Took the test. All the behind the crew people, mm -hmm. we had to get tested for Sin Foods, yes. which we shoot this week. Um, we just tested Blaze because she's coming from the Bay Area. Yeah. Rick, my last test was negative, and then I ain't been nowhere since. Mm -hmm. We're good to go, guys. Yeah. I do feel coughs, a sore throat, can't taste anything, but <laughs> but my last test was negative, so kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> and I had it already, so I got you all. Can never get it again. I can never get it again. I'm not. <laughs> Look, I got the papers to prove it. I'm fine. That's all that matters. Yeah, That's all yeah. that matters. I drove out here so we could avoid airports mm -hmm. and avoid extra people, all the precautions, and it was just me. So we're yeah. good. Appreciate that. How was the drive? Easy. I already sit on my ass for like five hours a day, Monday through Friday, so it wasn't too different. Did you miss us? Yes. It's so weird not being in the studio with you guys. The vibe is different. I know. Uh, everybody hates my audio. Yeah, it's always <laughs> trash for some reason. I don't know. Hate my audio, but I did, I mean, it just feels funny not showing up to work. And, yeah. You know, getting to see you guys and vibe and Rick and I look at each other when funny shit happens. We can't do that. Anymore. Can't do that on the Zoom. <laughs> but I feel like we figured it out. <laughs> Jen and I was just, just at the same time look in the general direction. But yes, I do miss you guys. Yeah, it's nice no. to have a balance because it's really different. And I miss yeah. internally rolling my eyes when I see y'all looking at each other. 
<laughs> Rick and I, we feel your jealousy. <laughs> Rick and I be like this. Did, what did he just say? I was like, oh god, he's not fucking You know, the thing is, I, I hate doing the Zoom shit so much, man. It's so stupid. I really, really yeah. do, and I feel like not only that, like I feel like everybody that watches is burnt out on the Zoom shit. Too. Yeah, yeah. I was like. I didn't watch a lot of podcasts before. Only thing I would watch was Joe Button podcast. Mm. And when they went to Zoom, my viewership fell yeah. off. Yeah. Now it's like, I got to remember, oh, there might be a new yeah. Joe. I used to be on it, but the Zoom just ruined it. So we either gonna, you know, we got, we'll just keep testing you. Keep testing me. If, and if you don't feel like coming down to LA. We'll I just, always feel like coming down right. to LA. <laughs> I always feel like coming, I'm don't even put that not. out there. Um, I was like, do you need me to come out there? I'll drive, I'll fly, I'll walk. Just give me a heads up. You know, it's good. I mean, but hey, but that fashion episode, the fashion show episode did, yeah. did, did all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we just need to get me to get sponsored again so they can send me outfits and i'll do fashion hey, that would be that would be a thing I, if you would really yeah. be down to implement do that i think that would be a good segment just have nikki blaze changing yeah nikki new yeah. clothes nikki new clothes oh yeah. nikki new clothes yeah. i like it man like i also feel like you know it's weird to not, not gonna lie i totally forgot what i was gonna say <laughs> uh, <laughs> one thing I have like though is because we were on Zoom, I stopped wearing makeup. Like mm -hmm. I really stopped wearing makeup. I let my hair go Same. natural and everybody was very nice and supportive of my natural look. I've so been telling you I natural know. Nikki is popping, man. <laughs> There's something about the lights and the cameras that make you feel like I gotta do a little something. But yeah. since we've been doing that and everybody's been so nice, I've toned down a lot on my makeup. Well good. Thanks, guys. I appreciate y'all for being nice. And, you know, we, we're all about embracing the natural here yeah. on the No Chaser podcast. I was just watching, you know, speak, let's, w since we're doing a little, you know, this is our, oh, that's what I was going to say. This is our 100th episode. Yeah. And not only that, bro, in like a month, it will be the two-year anniversary yeah. oh. of the first episode, which yeah. was in like February 20-something. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Holy I was shit. Wait, what? Two years we've been doing this? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Wow. We need to do a Valentine episode. Ooh. Yeah. We should do that. What am I going to wear? For Valentine's Day? Yeah. Dress up like Cupid. <gasps> you would be a better Cupid. You need the diaper and the wings. <laughs> you can be Cupid. I privated a, a, pri a, a fire song that I wrote for my ex that where Rick played Cupid mm. in the music video. And everybody, like all like the Asian 12-year-olds from back in the day, they're like, yo, man, the Valentine's song. I miss that song. <laughs> but I, all, all mushy, gushy shit with my ex that was on YouTube, I privated it. Yeah. So, you know, they, they miss it. But You should do a remix. I got a couple, I've, I've written a couple songs with you. I mean, they're not as good. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> you better be quiet. That's She's going to pop her head out the window and be like, what you say? Yeah, that's why I'm Canada Dry. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say, well, speaking of the natural shit, I was just watching that What's Good episode of the podcast mm -hmm. when okay. we started off talking about how people don't appreciate real titties because real titties, you know, will naturally mm -hmm. hang a little bit, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because of all the social media, Instagram girls, fake titties here and there. But I, I say all that to say how funny it was when you called out What's Good for using <laughs> his sexy voice. For being unnatural. <laughs> for being unnatural. <laughs> because fucking... Um, <laughs> and if you read all the comments, all the comments are like, why is he trying to sound all sexy for? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. And you know what? You know what I appreciate about you guys watching, man? You guys will always keep it real with us, man. Yeah. I feel like you guys keep tuning in because you fuck with how genuine the vibe is here mm -hmm. at the No Chaser podcast. And you guys will always... And here's what I like, too, is you guys can always tell when, <laughs> when we're not feeling it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, you know, there's been a couple episodes where you guys are like, ah, y'all should, y'all should, uh, y'all don't even need guests. It's like yes. <laughs> a couple of them. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I've been saying internally, like in the group chat, we don't need guests, guys. We can do this just ourselves. It's cool every once in a while, though, when you have the right guess yeah yeah you know what i'm saying but i think a lot of it falls on us too because most people when they get hit up to appear in something they feel like it's gonna be an interview 
And that's yeah. what they're prepared for. Yeah. And they don't want to stagnate the interview with long answers. So they give you the quick, short answer, expect <laughs> you to have another question. But it's like, this is a conversation, guys. Mm -hmm. Just talk. So when you get the people who can just talk, it's dope. Yeah, honestly, I do. A str you know, I know the people that fuck with us. Yeah. They love just the three of us talking. The energy's different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody kind of gets to shine in their own. Um, I do it because... Uh, it just brings in new viewers. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got guests. And, uh, and you know, like, sometimes you get the you get just a great conversation. Amber so Diamond. Amber Diamond. Oh. Amber Diamond. Amber, Amber Diamond. Oh, man, we could replace you oh. with Amber and just go, <laughs> God, no. No. You need both of us. Amber and I do very well together because we like different things, and she is so pretty. This is true. We, I, so I would pretty. love to have Amber back. Amber, Amber's the shit, man. Like, um, she's definitely like top five amber is up there yeah, yeah. And, and and i like that amber uh brought up your your titty <laughs> uh, titty manipulation <laughs> <presence>. On social. <laughs> she went out of her way she yeah. was so mad like, amber uh, was so mad it, at me and called me a weirdo yeah, <laughs> like, amber, to give y'all context if you don't aren't familiar with this episode and for my go uh, watch and, it and for the new cameraman <laughs> um, uh, uh blade said on one of the very early episodes <laughs> This is with Shan. With Shannon Boudram, mm -hmm. Shan Boudram. Yep. That uh, she, you know, that sometimes titty sucking doesn't do a whole lot for her mm -hmm. personal preference. Right. <laughs> Which is fun. Which, Which is I, fun. And I did not knock anybody else's stuff, but Amber Diamond. Wait, 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 I prefer the grip, the squeezing over the licking or anything like that because it just doesn't, it's almost nah, irritating. Nah, bro. It's like grabbing and jiggling. Okay, grabbing and jiggling. Okay. Yeah, jiggle. Grab shaking, and jiggling. okay. <laughs> the jiggle, the Why stick was the what, drip that's again. the bark. <laughs> that's what bugged everybody out. <laughs> because it, like, most people don't know what they're doing with it. It was kind of annoying. And yes, I did say I like the jiggle and the firm grab. So Amber was like. I, well, I posted that clip on Instagram and <laughs> Amber <laughs> commented. She was like, Nah, she's tripping. And she tagged me too. She was like, Nikki, at Nikki Blades, you are tripping. Nah, then, how, she went in. But she came on the show, was like, she was like, you like your titties shook. <laughs> <laughs> like flabbergasted. Bro, it, it's, it's weird. I mean, <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. Here's, 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 here's why I say it's weird. Only because, like, men like to do that, but we don't do it. Thinking. With the thought of, yeah. oh, she gonna like this. That's <laughs> just for us. Yeah. Most of the time, it's like you do it, and she might stop. I mess with my titty or something like that. I gave women <laughs> permission to say what they like, and men to be like, oh, babe, do you actually like that, or do you like this? I started a conversation and like what you like. Don't shame me for my jiggle. Hey, I, you're right. We should not shame you, but I just need you to understand why it's weird. I got it. Amber made it very clear to all of her followers. <laughs> and I need to keep saying <laughs> and it. All and all of us. And look, to be fair, um. <laughs> Me but and Rick have expressed on the podcast how we don't like aggressive fellatio like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. How, you know, we prefer a, uh, a slower mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. And it was dudes in my comments like, like y'all tripping. How? Um, me and Mike. Oh, yeah. We had a whole debate about it. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Prefer a hand job. And, and, and a lot of dudes are like, wow, are you in the eighth grade? What's yeah. wrong with you? <laughs> there was girls probably but, like, oh, thank God. <laughs> but <laughs> if, thank if, God. It, if it's done right, a hand job is amazing. No, I agree. So I get it. But I just, that's one I've never heard before. You guys, I know we like having the sex. Your boy likes having the sex, especially now, well, I had some sex and now, you know, I got a baby coming. So, but if, if y'all like having the sex, Blue Chew is gonna make it even better, all right? We all know about Blue Chew and I'm here to tell you some more, all right? If you have a hard time taking pills, you're not alone. Get the only Sildenafil or Tadalafil chewables by visiting bluechew.com, all right? If you like sex, you'll love bluechew.com. Bluechew.com affiliated physicians work with you to find the dosage and active ingredient that is best for you. It only takes a few minutes to connect with a bluechew.com affiliated physician and if you qualify, you get prescribed online quickly. It comes in a discreet packaging, delivered right to your door, no in-person doctor visit, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at a pharmacy, and the chewables from bluechew.com are made in the good old US of A, all right? You and your partner will love it, so chew it and do it. All right, my guys, I know we like to last longer and go extra rounds. It's always great. 
and the ladies love it as well. So here's a great deal for you guys. All right, visit bluechew.com and get your first order free when you use promo code TIM. Just pay five dollars. That is B L U E chew.com promo code TIM. Bang, go, kill, go deliver that fire stroke to your lady. Hey you guys, I know this is a crazy time we're living in. People are going through some things. We all feeling a little funny nowadays, right? But, you know, let me ask you, is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? I know how you feel. This is a crazy time. It's weird. Your boy has like writer's block. Sometimes I, I feel a little, um, just shit don't feel right, okay? And that's why you should look into BetterHelp, all right? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours, and there's a broad range of expertise available which may not be locally available in many areas, okay? You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy, all right? BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Now real talk, I actually had a little bit of um through the computer screen therapy the other day with Chia just just to see what it was about and I really enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes just talking through um, how you feel will really help you realize some things, all right? BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit their website and read the testimonials. And you can also visit betterhelp.com slash Tim. That's better H-E-L-P. And join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional, okay? Special offer for No Chaser listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Tim, all right? Okay, quick. Random tangent. <laughs> Speaking of sh- shaking things, <laughs> shake them just so shake them. Oh. back. Shake them. You know <laughs> when, when I when I was when I was kind of single and doing my thing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I would a canoodle with a with a with a, with a lady. Mm-hmm. Um, nine times out of ten, they were cool with filming it on your cell phone, filming things, mm-hmm. right? And I would always send Rick video of me playing with a girl's ass right mm-hmm. and so it was one day with consent with cons- consent always yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was never like uh you know like i've secretly took videos yeah, and shit like i that. always gave him my permission to send it <laughs> 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 so it was and i don't know if you remember this but one time you found some video on some random website and you sent it to me because you was like yo i thought this was you <laughs> oh, because yeah. this dude was doing the same thing. The exact same shit I would always do, <laughs> yeah. which was like a jiggle, jiggle, smack combination. Mm-hmm. And I was, and I watched it and I was like, is this me? <laughs> <laughs> really, look at this hand. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> yeah. The Remember weird what? old days. The weird, the weird old days. You know, honestly, dog, you know, it's funny that you bring, that you say that because I, I look back now on those days, which is like damn near, like over 10 years ago, right? Mm-hmm. Where I was out there doing, just out there. God knows what. God knows what, but God, God knows, knows who. who. I, I pray to God they were cute. <laughs> um, they weren't always. But, uh, but I look back now and it seems almost like not real. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like it, it's so it's so separate than my life now and mm-hmm. so much different. Yeah. It feels like a, just like I'm watching a movie if I even think back. Like I don't, it's all kind of a blur. Yeah. But it doesn't feel real, no. you know? It's That's crazy. interesting. Yeah. yeah, and even and especially because I was so drunk during most of it. Yeah, <laughs> hate piecing nights back together. It's not, yeah. it's not very fun. It's, it's bits and pieces yeah. of a of a titty and a shot and a <laughs> and a, and a, and a jiggle. <laughs> jiggle. <laughs> oh, oh, the jiggle. <sighs> oh, the jiggly days. It's not uh, happening very much anymore. That's an invite. Blades invited all y'all to slide in her DMs. No, no. side note. Can we have a conversation about y'all in my DMs? Uh, oh specifically, some of you that be watching that send stupid yeah. messages because you think you're him. You're not him. Leave that to Tim. Y'all Tim, can't get away with this. No. Shit. I not, get away with you're not, not to Tim. say he's no, in I don't be no. like that. But you don't get to have that confidence that you think you got telling yeah. me, oh, this. Well, I, I throw most of your guys' DMs into our group chat to mm-hmm. just let the boys know what I get because of this. Yeah. Oh, side note, this is not 
an invitation no. to do it further. Yes, we're laughing because right. it's funny a yeah. little bit, but don't. Thank yeah. you, Rick. Yeah. Because even in our group that, chat. They're reading it like, oh, wait till she reads no. this one. <laughs> Let's see if she's in this one in the group there chat. There was one specific one I had thrown in the group chat. Tim laughed. Rick was like, no, don't laugh at that. That's not funny. And I'm like. I tell you, she's this close to blasting y'all. <laughs> oh, I found the guy's business address, his phone number, and all of that because some of y'all are stupid. Y'all are sending stuff with all your information on your page. If you don't want your girls or your mother or your business partners to know, <laughs> stop telling me what you want to do to my photos. I, I you know what they heard right now? If you don't want your girls or your business partners to know, make a fake account. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to know. I, I, la I laughed because, not because I, 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 I saw this man uh, being rude to you. I laughed because there was such a funny balance of <laughs> reckless shit and also um, sweet shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, I, and I recognize that, look, if it's unwarranted, it's all annoying. Yeah. I get that. But it, this man was saying shit like... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should read it. You yes, should just let's read, read it. it. Yes. Let's just read it. <laughs> let's read let's it. Let's read it. Because word for let's, word. Let's do like... Yeah. Oh, let's popcorn. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay I like okay. that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, uh, I'll start. Okay. <laughs> I love your sexy face and body. Popcorn Rick. I desire to fuck your sexy big tits <laughs> and come all over your gorgeous face. Gorgeous Popcorn face. Nikki. Then fuck your sweet sexy ass. I want to rub my hard dick all over your, Tim. Stunning face. <laughs> You're so exciting and erotic. <laughs> See, bits and pieces of that are kinda nice. <laughs> Would you like to would you like to say the following message that I sent in return? <laughs> oh me? Yeah. <laughs> Look, motherfucker. No, no. <laughs> she said just I would love for you to <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking of comebacks after that. I was like, you know what? I should have went a little bit further with this. No, no. She actually said, hey, j not no, hey, just making sure this is your business, dot, 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 correct. Send screenshot of his business, the address and phone number, and it was seen and never replied to. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Damn. I forgot. She's crazy. Oh, goddamn block. Yeah. Good. I forgot I posted that. <laughs> Yeah, at least you ain't hit them with the. Cause I've seen, you know, I've I've seen homegirls where they get dick pics and then uh, they they did, will repost the dick yeah, pic. Yeah, I don't I don't want to bring that upon myself. But it's more of like a warning. I know some people are reckless in the DMs because they don't think anybody's actually gonna read them. But just letting y'all know, a lot of people are reading them and uh, you look stupid. Yeah, they don't hit Mucho. you with the vanish mode. No, I would don't even open those because I do my best. Here's the Smart. problem. People complain about girls or whoever on Instagram. They never respond back to comments. Oh, you never respond to DMs. <laughs> you don't care. And then when I do, that's the type of shit that I get. Yeah. I mean, the, a few fuck it up for the rest. I know a lot of girls who say they like will get the compliment and they'll say, thank you. Mm -hmm. And then it's followed up. So what you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Like, they don't want to have conversation with you, man. They yeah. just there for validation on their looks. <laughs> no. <laughs> they do not want to meet new people. They want you to tell them they look good and that's it. I'm doing and my best to be nice. To say that. I'm doing my best to be nice because a lot of them actually come from the podcast and they're very sweet. So I say thank you, but sometimes y'all give me target practice. It was, it was funny because when you when you talked about the dude that that thought he was he could pull off the shit I could pull oh, yeah. off. And he said something. He blamed like, you. She was, she, yeah. Yeah, he blamed me. He was like, ah, man. He said something like, I've been watching too much, Tim. <laughs> that's, in the, that's in our group chat, yeah, too. It's, it's in there. <laughs> it's in there. Here's the thing, right? I'm glad y'all are gaining confidence from me, okay? Be confident, right? But also, I'm really charming, all right? <laughs> not, not everybody. Just, I mean, look. And, okay, sp let's go back to a specific story before you even read the DM. Mm -hmm. One time... I always used to tell dudes like, hey, look, man, try to if you're trying to get at a girl, don't hit her with the typical shit. Like something that I used to always say is like, <laughs> like if a girl had really pretty eyes and she's used to getting eye compliments, mm -hmm. I'd be like, hey, you know, what? I don't know if anyone's ever told you this, but you have the nicest elbows. Right. Some shit like that where I can pull off because like I'm goofy mm -hmm. and it's not, and also I'm little, so I'm not threatening. And mm -hmm. it's probably towards somebody that 
could actually be interested in you? Quite possibly. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're um, welcome. The subtle compliment. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was a dude that used to follow me, and he was like, man, I went up to this girl. <laughs> I sat right next to her. I said, wow, you have really nice knees. <laughs> and then she just moved seats. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even acknowledge. Oh, okay. So, and, so oh, this is ahead. the one. It's real. It's mm -hmm. real quick. I had posted up a throwback photo from when I was in high school. I keep telling y'all I played sports. So it's a picture from my volleyball team. The guy goes, damn, Nikki, you built like you about to take my lunch money. JK, still cute as fuck, though. <laughs> laughing, crying face. <laughs> and he thought that was his way in. Look, guys, the, the insult thing only works when A, you're charming, B, the girl has some sort of interest in you and that type of relationship is established you can't come out the gate with an insult right. when yeah. nobody she's never even seen you before yeah you no. gotta be well, you gotta be sexy as, or you're yeah. sexy as shit yeah. right and <clears throat> what y'all don't realize is not only is tim charming <laughs> he's also popular and on tv <laughs> 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 you know what i'm saying things things work for those kind of guys that don't work for you but then it's here's, just the truth but then here's the worst part if you're gonna slide in the dms and you think you're being cute don't blame somebody else for your failures he says this is all tim's fault maybe more confidence or be funnier now that is hilarious <laughs> bro that's a good strategy <laughs> first of all it's not my fault you ain't cute <laughs> <laughs> You don't teach them the right stuff. Hey, 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 but real quick, real quick, you know, nobody's really trying to go out right now, okay? But we still love good food, and that's why I F with HelloFresh all day. HelloFresh makes it easy to have a nice home-cooked meal in 30 minutes or less, and I got you, okay? Check this out. With HelloFresh, you can cut out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in 30 minutes or less. And not only that, HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need with customizable orders every week. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need, all right? Now, real talk, me and Chia use HelloFresh all the time. Sometimes, you know, we don't feel like ordering takeout, but we don't really know what to cook for dinner. HelloFresh is lit. It gives you the, the ingredients, fresh ingredients. It gives you the step-by-step -step process. Your boy doesn't cook like that, but now I feel like a chef with HelloFresh, okay? And just for you guys, I got a special, special treat. I'm going to hook y'all up, okay? Go to HelloFresh.com slash 10NoChaser and use code 10NoChaser for 10 free meals, including free shipping, okay? That is HelloFresh.com slash 10 no chaser all right i got you and i'm telling you right now hello fresh america's number one meal kit you know no I, I i put out the right stuff and and they they take they take uh the, the wrong things sometimes but don't <laughs> do, but don't apply it to me i don't know how many times i keep <laughs> telling you don't not to me if you watch the podcast enough you would know that Nikki was very insecure in high school. Thank you. So don't make fun of her <laughs> shoulders. Talk about my shoulders, and you look like, bitch. I'll take your fucking lunch yeah. money on site to this day, yeah. sir. Yeah. Uh, I will so fight stupid. you. Cheers to you growing into your insecurities. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Look, my hair is natural. I'm wearing less makeup, and I don't give a fuck if it looks like I could take your lunch money because yeah. I did. And your girl's calling me later. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> take your mon lunch money and your bitch. 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 <laughs> there you go. Tell them buff ass nigga. That's right. I've been doing my push ups and lifting weights again too. Man. Fuck you. That's so funny. <laughs> I hate people. <laughs> that, that was one that I was like, okay, that was not slick at all. That one was not nice. I mean, I'm sure you get a lot of um, a lot of celebrities in your DMs too, though. You know what? Lately? Yeah. 2020, end of 2020, beginning of 2021, those blue checks all of a sudden started coming in. I don't know what happened mm -hmm. or what page I fell across yeah. to where they even saw me. Are you down for that? No. Mm, why no. not? Because the one that I maybe possibly entertained a little bit, ah. you go and see online like shortly after that they're, you know, people are in full blown relationships. And mm -hmm. you're like, this is exactly why I don't fall for it. And a lot of the guys. Yes, that Samuel Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's the one. I yeah, forget. Lance Bass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people always ask, like, what's your celebrity crush? Yeah. And if you've ever had a celebrity crush and then they actually talk to you, you realize very quickly that it's like, you're not special. No blue check that ever slid into my DMs made me feel special because yeah. the hours 
and then the way that they write so the last one that i got caught me off guard i was a little bit like oh oh okay i felt special got the little wavy hand i was like nah i'm gonna play it cool i'm gonna play it cool i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say anything i'm gonna wait so i waited two hours i sent a little wavy hand but then i realized oh he's for the streets he's in everybody's dms mm. so then i saved a little uh waving bunny I just sent a little bunny sticker back. He saw it, never responded. I was like, you're not about this life. <laughs> yeah. not See, about I, this. Well, blue checks are scrambling right now. There's, there's, like a, there's like a surge of this growing problem in their world. They've Did been you? talking to like these next level popular girls. And these popular girls are taking advantage of all these niggas. Uh, <laughs> they, they like passing them around. Yeah, they, they all switching them fucking, out. They yeah. want a Birkin and shit. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> so they like, damn, where we gonna go? Yeah. Then they went and downgraded, found me. <laughs> so they started to get my I was gonna say, man. They it. looking for the girls like, oh, she look good. Right. She coming up. Okay, let me let me grab her right here. Right. And then right. I'm so she feel like, yeah, but nah. And then bro. you hit them with some stupid ass reply. And they're like, nah, she weird. Let's go. She don't want nothing. I was gonna say, it, it sucks for girls that need to be stimulated mentally to be turned on because <laughs> as men's mm -hmm. if our celebrity crushes slid into our dms you don't care how stupid it is <laughs> yeah you you gotta oh man you gotta send me a, a picture of like uh like shit coming out of an asshole for me to be turned off mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like you can say the dumbest shit i'll yeah. be like cool 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 what you getting into yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? <laughs> yeah that's crazy what you doing yeah. but i don't think girls need to be mentally stimulated they just want to feel like they the only one that's that, all. that is uh dude could be a, trash but if he make you feel like he ain't hit nobody else up they down that right there it was that there's just a lot of factors that go into the typical dm slide because you know i've dated guys without the blue checks that are just really good looking and the way that they have to do in the dms you don't have to do much if you are fine and you just say hello the girls are going to respond word mm -hmm. but if you are for the streets <laughs> known for being for the streets and you got Four baby mamas, please do not hit me in my DMs with a wave. Like, you better start reciting poetry to me or you know my dad's name or something like that. I Be think, creative. I think that is definitely where 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 a lot of girls and guys um, differentiate. You feel mm. me? Because as men, mm. um, we've been in a situation where it wasn't even necessarily a girl that was for the streets. Mm. She just might have messed with a homie in the clique or another mm. homie. Yeah. And it was like, and if it was potential to also indulge in this situation yeah we would just be like hey is this cool yeah exactly is this cool with you? like, <laughs> like you, oh you don't mind you, you, don't, you mind? don't like her and stuff. Right, okay then, cool yeah. cool yeah then i'm a i'm a also i'm a also do that yeah and now we are connected yeah right. but gr <laughs> girls do that too quiet as a camp they pa just want to act like they don't they pass dudes around they'll hit the dude who fucked their friend or whatever <laughs> but they still have that that um that need to be the only one now they want him to act as if she never existed <laughs> they want him to act like he wants to be with her mm -hmm. even though she just wanted to smash she needs to feel it's like the ego it's oh, the yeah. fucking ego oh, we that? just trying to get our dicks wet yeah. cuz we don't, we i don't need care. my ego boosted bro <laughs> <It's> like nah <laughs> give me that ass and then let's be homies cuz we're not about to be nothing else because you already smashed the homie and we going trade and be nice about time it time and place though the one here's the one thing about dating anybody of stature mm -hmm. you become the girl that dated that person everything you've done goes out the window nobody gives a shit about any of your career nothing like that for me personally unless you're about to make me feel like i'm the only one you actually serious about this i'm not gonna risk being with you and then looking stupid on TMZ but see, while you out somewhere else. That's the thing. That's what girls don't understand. Because there's, there's some girls who get it. There's girls who smashing all of these dudes that be in <laughs> your DM. But I don't need to be smashing but, all but of listen, these dudes. But listen, they get that experience because that, they wanted that. They probably got some trips. They probably got some expensive stuff. But they ain't never say that shit. Nobody knows. So they don't look stupid. Mm. They don't look like the girl that was dating this one. They're just getting it. And dudes always double back to them because they know they're cool mm. they they be set up and they get multiple i feel like they be is the an girls a, that you a... see living in the fucking high rise <laughs> with the big windows and you don't know how <laughs> then, then, okay time and time and place there's probably a different time in my life that that all makes sense and you know definitely a different time in my life when <laughs> you know i've gone i've I, you know i am not lonely but <laughs> 
<laughs> I ain't lonely, but where I'm at now, you got to be careful. I think that's just what it is. When you're trying to come up, and I feel like just some women know, and I think some men know too that are looking for a relationship, they're going to be mm -hmm. more particular about who they decide they want to spend time with or even even test the waters with. If you're just yeah. trying to get some, I'm not going for someone new. I'm going backwards. Yeah. That's, it's interesting, <clears throat> but yeah, that is the case. But it's definitely interesting because I know I know a decent number of girls who are actively looking for something real, like they want a real relationship while they're fucking a bunch of celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> like those that dudes don't matter at all. He is not even on the radar of a relationship. Right. But I'm gonna keep fucking him until somebody over here wipes me up. Just it's to let all of y'all know, I asked them before I even pursue anything with anybody. I'm like, hey, what do you know? I'm like, here, this is what came in today. <laughs> no, hey, and just this? so y'all know, we don't tell her shit. <laughs> we got you, bro. No, nah, no 100%. <laughs> it, it was one of these celebrities in her DMs. I was like, yo, yo, go fuck that dude. Hey, yeah. like, he was, he was trying to like, you know, oh, do a yeah, little, little sweet. situation. Yeah. And I was, was like, sweet. that sounds great. Yeah. And then? And then, yeah. Well, and then, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was it was other shit that got in the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and was, then, yeah. yeah. But yeah, now I I'll give I'll give information. I'm like, look, if you're gonna do this, this is what I know. Right. Right. But mm -hmm. right. But right. so just go into it with this mindset. Yeah. And have your fun. <laughs> yada, right. Yada, yada. Because really, at the end of the day, I do look to you guys for advice as well. There's shit that I'm dealing with, and you guys are in L.A., and it's a different world for me because I'm not in the same circles as a lot of the people you guys know. And if I'm like, I'm not trying to have my name in the streets, mm. is this a person that's going to get me caught up with some <laughs> other drama? You know, like, if I decide I want to be low-key or just get to know somebody, am I going to have to fight a girl because <laughs> he's in the streets? And then they'll be like, no, nah, don't do it, or... See what's up. I'm like, no, okay. Well, yeah. Most of the time, it's go for it, though. Yeah. Just yeah. with the right mindset. Because it's right. like, when you're young, just have have the fun that you can have. As long as you're not hurting nobody mm -hmm. or doing anything that could potentially hurt you, do that shit. Yeah. And but you just know, know where, right. you, where your head should be. You guys be. give actually really good, really good advice when it comes to that stuff. So Yeah, because, you know, to be fair, um, like, if I was a girl um, and <laughs> these dudes was in my DMs like that, like, I'd be down because, you know... I feel like the part of the draw of a celebrity dude hit me up, right? <laughs> Feels weird to say. Uh, <laughs> the, the draw of a celebrity I hitting me up. I love the attention he gives me. Well, it, it's because it's like you. Yeah, it's cool that he's a celebrity, but also you kind of know they're not gonna be blabbing right. like yeah. that, right? Yeah, right. Because right? right. he has his own reputation mm -hmm. he has to hold up. Mm -hmm. So it feels like kind of like, oh shit, this is a great situation. But at the same time, <clears throat> you know, we um, we got homegirls that have been hit up by the same dude mm -hmm. uh and i specifically have two completely different types of stories mm -hmm. from one guy right yeah i got a story where a home girl was on a music video and dude was real reckless he was like give me your number like or yeah. no no he was like put it in you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. she was like nah fuck that yeah. and then i got the same dude mm -hmm. who was like in this girl's dms was like Yo, come to the studio. We could kick it, kicked it with all the homies. Mm -hmm. He was mad sweet. He fucking like made love to her, and they cuddled, called her a car, like all types yeah. of shit, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. Well, yeah. you never but, know. But yeah. granted, those are two different points in that dude's life. That's too. true. The first one, okay. he was young and yeah, reckless. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah, and that's why, like, back to what you were saying, it's time and place. Like, depending on your age and what you're looking for in life. It, it all is different. When I was young and younger <clears throat> and in the club and the attention was different. But mind you, I've been in relationships for like long periods of time. And the worst thing you can do if you are not a celebrity man or you are not a man with a lot of money <laughs> and you are relying solely on your personality and your looks, do not <laughs> say, oh, just because I don't got a blue check, oh, you know, just because God. I'm not a celebrity Ugh. or I'm not rich, don't mean you can't give me attention. You have no idea how many guys say that and they don't they don't listen like it's different nowadays yeah. there's a lot of women that are like nah bro i want you to stay home baby stay home i don't even care cook clean i've already said i don't mind turning somebody into a stay-at-home husband i'll come home and you cook i like <laughs> all of that so that would be dope i would love but that. but they're just they're just trying to caress their own ego because like there's girls who ain't never been hit up by a blue check that ignore them too uh. it, it has nothing <laughs> to do with you not being a blue check and you know that you yeah. just suck 
Yeah. Terrible mm. approach. And being nice does not get overlooked. Like people that are just genuinely nice, some of them, like, yeah, I'll say thank you or just respond. But <laughs> also know your lane. Like understand, I never say I'm looking for a relationship. So I'm not the person you should waste your time on. Go waste it somewhere else. <laughs> just not with me. I yeah. make it very clear. Leave me alone. <laughs> the, Be nice. am the amount of dudes that like I know. Um, if you are one of these dudes, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> the amount of dudes <laughs> that I know that have hit me up, like, hey, yo, put in a good word for me with Nikki Blades. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? Hey, but, you never know. Hey, you, 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 well, I know. <laughs> I know her. <laughs> Rick has they never know. Me. So I understand. I understand the approach, but I'm like, you putting me in a position right here yeah. to where I have to tell you certain things about yourself. So like, look, dog, I've been friends with you for a long time without having to tell you that you're ugly and lame. Yeah, like, so, uh, you're not exactly uh, good. <laughs> Rick's just like, I'm not trying to listen to her complain about you every time oh, she bro. shows up on set. Dude, and even if it's not you, I never do the homie hookup shit. Mm. I hate another motherfucker <laughs> in my business I love or it. putting me in their business. Like, yo, no, get out of here. Yo, I, I love her. Hey, dog. The, the, or, hey, girl. Hey, 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 home girl. The homie was like, <laughs> oh homie my said, God. what's up? I, this is fun. It depends on the type of girl. If it's a girl who I know is just out there having fun, wants mm. to smash some shit like that. Yeah. Oh, the homie said, what's up? Oh, yeah. Boom. I'm never going to hear about that again. Yeah, you guys have never brought anybody <laughs> to the table like Nikki. <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> no, but if it's a girl that's like, oh yeah, I'm looking for anything more than just smash, and I know he is too. I'm no, because as soon as something goes wrong, what's wrong with your friend? Yeah. I'm like, uh. What's up with <laughs> your friend? Like, bro, I didn't tell that man to do that. <laughs> Leave me alone, please. Hilarious. <laughs> and I, I just wanted to say, uh, speaking of that one celebrity being in different stages of his life. Mm -hmm. um, Hey, look, man, if, if I if 11 years ago I said something <laughs> reckless to you during or prior or after we randomly hooked up, I uh, apologize. <laughs> um, there is a good chance I was very drunk. Um, oh, let, oh, man, let me tell you. That this. is such a sincere it, apology. It really it really is because okay. it was so long ago. Right. Mm -hmm. And this was a reckless time of my life. Yeah. And, 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 and it was one time it was crazy because. Specifically, you know, I've told the story of in Minneapolis where I, I had sex and I didn't even know, right? Mm. And that night, here's the thing: when I'm drunk and it's, and 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 when I was single, right? Mm -hmm. I just like kissing people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was like I would be out and I would be like, all right, yo, give me a kiss, give me a kiss, everybody, right? <laughs> Everybody that thought I was cute, I'd be like, yo, give me a kiss. <laughs> so there was one time I either was. I think I had officially made Chia my girlfriend for like a few months, right? Mm -hmm. But then like maybe like six months prior to that, I was fucked up or like, I don't know how long ago it was, I was, I was drunk at some club mm -hmm. and it was, a, and some girl had tagged me in some Facebook picture oh. where we were taking a picture and I was fucking kissing this girl in the mouth. Yeah. And then Chia's homegirl had sent that to her. Like, yo, look at this. And I remember specifically, we were in a hotel somewhere, I was taking a shit and she was like, Babe, what's this? <laughs> and then we, she looked at the date. Thank God. Yeah. Oh, and it was geez. like, oh, this is before we were together. Yeah. I was like, I still would have fought you. <laughs> well, I was like, man, I don't even remember. He's on the toilet, what? like locking the door, like <laughs> yes. But Did she kissed me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that brings me to a very important uh, point, ladies. If Michael B. Jordan sliding your DMs <laughs> right now, don't go telling on that man. <laughs> That's what he do, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go tell it on that man right now. <laughs> Especially if you going to do it. <laughs> fun. And don't go tell on that man. Because they look nice together. Him and Lori Harvey, they look nice together. Let me be happy. I'm sure she doing what she do. Oh, she if is. he decide to do what he do, let don't don't go telling on that man. Quit telling on people so goddamn much. He <laughs> seems like a nice guy. <sighs> Killmonger was uh, the best villain in MCU history. A very layered villain. Layers. Yes. Lots of layers. A lot of the villains lot of in layers. The MCU don't so have layers. developed stories. None. Killmonger made me feel for him. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so quit snitching. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Where's my champagne? Can I have some more champagne? Yeah, of course. Please. <laughs> Watch him DM me. What the you fuck? <laughs> Hey, man, I was chilling. <laughs> Mind your business, Rick. Mind your business. Hey, I'm trying to help you, brother. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, man, look, man, like. There's love for you guys out there. I think we've come, I mean, over the last hundred episodes, do you, how many pieces of advice do you think have been applied? Applied? To those that have been watching. Oh, like we giving out? <laughs> like we gave really uh, good advice and they used it. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know how many people use it. <laughs> I, I've learned in my years of being the advice guy, mm -hmm. a lot of people just like to hear it. Yes. That's true. And say, damn, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you so much. Right. But they don't apply it. Facts. At the end of the day, they do the dumb shit they wanted to do. <laughs> but you know what? They'll, they'll do the dumb shit. They'll learn their lesson. And then they'll be like, I should have listened. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then they'll and then and then they'll pass on that advice. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, you you got better people than I got because <laughs> I got the girls who hear the advice, say, you know what, you're right. That makes so much sense. Not do it. <laughs> Learn the lesson. Get in the situation again. <laughs> not take the advice again. And they hit me up saying the same shit about mm -hmm. a different dude. I'm like. We talked about this already. Yeah, I know, but this is different. He's tall. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the same How shit. How many times I got to tell y'all tall dudes are trash? You will never be happy with a tall dude. Cameraman, you are not tall I'm like that. <laughs> I, I don't know him well enough. He was back there. He gave me a tall. How tall are you? How tall are you? You are not tall like that, son. What'd you say, 6'3"? Oh, you're no, six no, 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 six two is not tall enough. Yeah, I'm nah. about six two in heels, so two? six five, you can stay at home. I'm talking okay, back I to back with Blaze I believe six two. Come here. <laughs> oh, okay, well, you don't look tall from far away. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm shirt. also, I wear shirt heels. Yeah, yeah. I wear heels in real life, so I'd be. He don't oh, care. You don't? He said I don't. Well, you don't look tall from far away. Either way, you ain't shit either, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he gave. He was like, no, 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 no. He said, actually. Oh, he's married <laughs> anyways. It's irrelevant. Actually, he's married. Yeah. Okay, he's a nice man. He's a good one. <laughs> oh, well, then he is shit. <laughs> yes. Is shit. Shout out you to you. Are you are shit. shit. Shout out to wifey. Yes. Um, and tall, I am. How tall is your wife? Uh, five See? Tall. Is that it? I guess. Look, okay, so you got a good personality. Y'all deal with each other's wagness. Yeah. Make oh, yeah. Sense. Oh, tall girls ain't shit either. We ain't <laughs> shit. I'm going to let y'all know. We ain't shit either. It's a whole lot of ain't shit giraffeness running Damn, around really, when I we really are. I really thought out. you were just like, like a few Normal? inches taller than me. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Side note, Tim is, Tim, how tall are you? I'm 5'4 and a half. 5'4 and a half, he's 6'2, and Tim thought that they were close to the really same height. Let's just, I really thought. That's crazy. Like, you wanted to drink to that one. You're the, like, mm hmm. Yesterday, I stood on a thing, <laughs> and it made me thing? tall, and I was like, mm, it's different up there. This feels like fuck people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I get it now. So I do like, not care uh, about anyone. <laughs> I can see on top of my refrigerator. Oh my, <laughs> When I am, so my refrigerator in my apartment is not a tall refrigerator. <laughs> Anytime I take pictures by it, people are like, Blades, are you the same height as your refrigerator? <laughs> bigger than me. I need to get your refrigerator in. My you, refrigerator. You like a half an inch taller than me? Yeah, like I'm that. not that yeah, much yeah. taller. Watch me, so I can, uh, yeah, yeah. I need that watch, watch me go to Blades' apartment like, this is a regular refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? Tim's like, <laughs> could you hand me that? <laughs> <laughs> could you hand me that possible, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm just, I'm just like. at the bottom. I'm just letting y'all know if I show up with a future boo who's like six eight, y'all better leave your six comments eight, alone. What the fuck? You have never what? No, I know that exists. It, yeah, but it's weird to hear somebody Why? say six it's, five it's, and it's, up. It's weird to hear somebody talk She's about that like like this is just That'd a regular nice. thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean okay, this is. Just I mean, me. that's you've just been me around a lot of basketball game. players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I. Play, you know, look, side note, look at my shoes. Because she plays so basketball. Because yeah. I play basketball, look at my shoes. Because I wear shoes. I wear shoes. <laughs> no, I think there's a difference in confidence. Tim, you guys have always said it. Personality, you guys are confident, you're smart, you know you have a lot to bring to the table. Now, well, fuck all that. <laughs> but. No, 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 I yeah. know what you're saying and it's yeah. facts. Through my trial run of, yeah, of course, if I'm 6'1 in heels and I walk into place and I see somebody who is taller than me, I'm naturally gonna go, oh my God, 
I don't have to bend over to take a picture with you. Yeah. Great, and I don't feel insecure about my height. Again, like you pointed out, I was very insecure about my size and all those other things. Then you realize height ain't always it. They ain't shit either. And yeah. unless you're ready to work on your problems and have a real relationship and conversation, it does not matter what size you are. Yeah. So. Yeah, cause uh, yeah, Disclaimer, a lot of throw that out there. a lot of short dudes with confidence. It be it be low key a false confidence, right? Okay. Or it's it's confidence until you get into certain situations. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's confidence when you're trying to talk to that tall girl, but then you get the tall girl, <laughs> and then you get in the room with a bunch of tall men <laughs> with your tall girl, and then it's like you feel like this. <laughs> you are like, ah oh, man. <laughs> That's what you thing. looking at, babe? Right, too, because we, we uh, There's nothing more uncomfortable than the girl being in the room knowing damn well she not supposed to don't look, ladies, and <laughs> don't look at what your man's insecure about. If he is shorter and he don't like the tall things, no matter how, you just keep looking at him. You make eye contact. Well, baby, you the best in the room. Cause that, I love well, you. Well, first of all, that's appreciated. Uh, <laughs> and second of all, that's the thing, right? It's like we, we talk about how confidence is, is the most attractive uh, quality. quality. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing about it is Tall dudes will, well, they're, they're like, like by default, they're gonna be confident because right. they're like, yeah. I'm fucking tall. Yeah. yeah. And you have shorter dudes who I, you know, and I always make the, the half joke, half real statement where it's like, shorter dudes are better because we gotta bring it back down. So mm. it's like, you know, we got more personality, mm. we're funnier, we're better dressed, smell better. Uh, but, <laughs> but, but, but <laughs> I always feel like, when you have a short dude that's actually confident, it's, it's for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then you have the short dudes who are uh, putting on a front. The, the, the motherfucker with a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. The short dude who's always trying to fight yeah. because yeah. he feels like he walks into the room and assumes people are laughing at him yeah, all the yeah, time, yeah, yeah. right? And yeah. that's, that's, that's the, uh, the difference. Yeah. yeah. The, f the false confidence where it's like, I'm going to make you think I'm confident. Right. That's yeah. where it, it's all, in, it's just insecurity. And right? a lot of the guys that ask, would you date a shorter guy? We we debunked that myth a long time ago. If you just feel that somebody is going to date you or not date you because of how you look or your height, you already lost. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. You already lost. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny because uh, Gio, one time, Gio, Gio. Gio from yes. JK, mm -hmm. um, she, one time, she did a video with David where uh, <laughs> they were talking and they were like, would you date somebody? Well, Bart Bart is shorter than her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they were like, but David was like, would you date somebody that's like Jason Chen, who's like 5'4", right? Mm -hmm. Who is, which is me. Mm -hmm. But they were like, like, would you, would you like date Tim? Mm -hmm. and she was like, would I date Tim? Well, she was like, oh, this is weird. But yeah, I, pr I probably would date Tim. You know what I'm saying? That would be so weird. That would be so <laughs> weird. Oh man, look. There was this there was this girl who I used to canoodle with and if you talk about this bucket Is it again, the paint bucket? I'm not gonna talk, I'm not gonna talk about <laughs> the bucket paint again. Is standing outside I, on your balcony. I, I will say this. I will say this. As as confident as I am, and I'm grant now granted I wasn't trying to I wasn't even in the mindset of dating. Mm -hmm. But there was a part of me, because she was damn near how tall would you say she was? She was five ten. Okay, so Geo's but, height. Yeah, sure, yeah. Geo's height. Mm -hmm. So there was a part of me that was like yeah, like I'm down to get together and do stuff, but in my head, like going on dates might be a little, you know, <laughs> I don't know how comfortable I am with yeah. having a 5'11, 5'10 on my arm like that. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, honestly, like as, as confident as I say I am and like how I wouldn't, I, you know, I would love to have like a model chick. Like if I was dating a model chick, I, of course I'd be proud of that, right? But at the same time, part of me was like, ah, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But I think we get confused with what confidence has to be. You can be confident and still have a preference. Yeah, oh, I would totally. prefer my girl to be, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right, because if like I that. was like, uh, actually, like in love with this with this lovely tall woman. Yeah, yeah. It would of be, course. I wouldn't right. have had it any matter. issues. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and it's just like there are a lot of guys that don't want like men have their preference, women have their preference, and like you mm. said, everybody's different. You can find the one. Like we've all gone through the rolodex of dates that we've been on and been like, oh, I wouldn't have assumed that person was going to be my type. But you know, most people know your type's probably wrong. Yeah. Uh, that's why you're single, <laughs> or you keep getting back with your ex. So your type is probably not. Right. 
I don't know. It's vibes. Know. It's vibes. You once you get past all the other stuff, when you're sitting yeah. down and having a conversation with somebody, you let all that shit go. You can actually make real connections. Yeah, definitely. Facts. This well, has, this has nothing to do with anything, but it reminded me of something about like thinking about yeah, do it look weird going out with this person? Yeah. So it was this girl was not dating her at all, just a homie. Mm-hmm. But she wanted to go to Disneyland. We had it planned. I'm like, I'll go to Disneyland with you. It was cool. And she was not black. Okay. (laughs) But like two days before we were supposed to go, she got big ass fake dreads put into her head. And I was like, I don't want to be walking around (laughs) Disneyland with you. (laughs) So I'm like, shit. Luckily, (laughs) luckily, she canceled. I was like, oh, because I was trying to think of a good excuse. But that just made me think of that. Like, yeah, this I don't, nah, this is not going to be, this is not going to be a good time. So you're (laughs) saying you wouldn't hold me down if I got the fake (laughs) roll? Dude. The amount of hate you would get oh, from me <laughs> on your social media would be astounding. I'm Rick good. would be posting up Instagram stories explaining everything Bruh, wrong. With, with no phone. LOLs. Nice. Man, honestly, like... The cultural appropriation. It, it people, it, it, people are, people, it, it's people in my DM saying... Um, you know, like, oh, because I, I think I asked, like, what should I do with my hair next? And someone's like, yo, you should get some, you should dread it, bro. I mean, not dread, you should lock it. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, I was like, ah, nah, you know what? I'm good. Uh, I already did the, bre- like, I had my shit, like, uh, like uh, I got the shit braided at yeah. one point. Like, I'm straight. <laughs> Um, not in today's climate. Nah. Yeah, nah. No, thank you. Like, I don't, I don't care about braids. I don't mind braids at all, but. Locks? Nah, bro. No. Yeah, no. And it was, it was, it wasn't even, it's not <laughs> their hair. Yes, they got the fact it, that they got it. Yeah, especially when you go into the whole fucking yeah. aspect of like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a whole. It's, it, I mean, it's damn near a whole religion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I don't even really. have to go that far. Yeah, <laughs> I surface level. It no. just looks silly. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. It just looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I started wearing my hair curly. Everybody got real confused again. I'm like, I told you guys for a hundred episodes what my mix was. Are you black or not? And I'm like, <laughs> every time I wear my hair curly, people automatically forget everything I said. They're like, Nah, you lying. You lying. That's not. That's not right. Well, change your face, dude. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You gotta figure out how to make it look like what you want it to be. I'll be like, Nikki goes natural, and all of a sudden y'all get real confused again. Like, now I have no clue what she Say, is. Say, Nikki goes natural, and. Turn your shit into a fro and see what Ooh, happens. My when gosh. I brush out my hair, <sighs> yeah, no. I Black was ass sh- nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for watching uh, another episode. Of, thank you for watching the hundred episode of Chasing Podcast. I appreciate y'all because I know some of you guys have tuned in to every episode, mm-hmm. regardless if the sound was trash, regardless if it was on Zoom, regardless if the guest was trash, regardless <laughs> of. Y'all just tuning in. I appreciate you so much. Love you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, cheers to you. Cheers to us. <laughs> thank y'all for watching. I'm drunk. I'm Rick is <laughs> drunk. I'm Tim Chantaroxu. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Nikki Blades. Bye. Bye.